Hello Truck Camper Nation. This is Charlie Cushane here to do another Truck Camper Mod. Um, this one involves power. Um, we do about 8 out of 10 days on the road boondocking and we've gotten very good at living off-grid. Um, we have two Group 27 uh, AGM batteries with two um, 150 watt solar panels on the roof and that usually gets us by. We draw it down at night with a TV or whatever and then it, during the day it charges up again. However, when you do do a lot of boondocking and dry camping, you have to alter your style compared to being in a campground. Since you don't have a plug to plug in, you have to give up on a few things and cook it slightly differently. Like you can't use a toaster or a microwave or a toaster oven um, or you can't even use your hair dryer if that's what you want to do. I don't need it. Um, but um, we're going to change all that. We're going to upgrade our two batteries to a third battery, which will give us enough power. But then in addition, we're going to install this 3,000 watt um, sine wave, pure sine wave inverter. Um, this is a very big inverter, but the reason we're going to put a 3000 in is most microwaves, toaster ovens, hair dryers are like 1500 to 2000 watts. And I didn't feel comfortable putting just a 2000 watt inverter in and using it to the max. I'm going to put a 3000 in and then um, I'll have a cushion of about a third. So that's what we're going to install. I'm going to install the battery here. Um, it was suggested not to put the inverter in with the batteries. There's just too much electronics and sparking and things like that where you don't want to have any of that around the batteries. So I'm going to install that in the back compartment. So that means, because I have such about an 8 foot run, the 10 foot run, I need big cables. Which is what I got, some 4 op cables. And I'll show you the whole process of installing it. So the first thing we have to do is install the third battery. As you can see, I've added three, a third battery, and I also updated all the hold downs to a nice piece of aluminum. It goes the whole length, so you can add more batteries. With a stop, you just move over and you can screw in. So that's great. These are the wires and cables. They come down from up above. And these big 4 op cables go to the middle terminals of the middle battery, right? And then from there, they go with 1 op cables to the individual batteries on either side of it. So that's the whole setup. We've tested it, and it works great. Okay, here's the rear compartment of my camper. And what you see is the inverter mounted right here so it rests on the ground and then screwed to the back wall um, this is a hose reel for my air compressor which runs over to the compressor which is a 12 volt and so that stays there the power cord that goes up to the um, island inside is right here coming out of the inverter it's a big 10 amp or 10 gauge wire so it's very heavy duty that's going up but also wire tied with it is the remote switch as you can see there's a remote switch cord right there then this is the positive coming out of the inverter to this 350 watt fuse and these two leads black and red go all the way to the front where the batteries are so that's the whole install. It came out nice and neat. It's in the back, so it's out of the way. And it should work out great. I can remotely turn it on and off. And if I want to, I can come here and plug in to the end of it. Because um, there's two more plugs over here that I could plug into. So that came out great. Okay, here's our final project. We installed in this island, we ran the cables 
from the inverter up through the island to this outlet and labeled it with inverter outlets and also here's the on off switch for the inverter and anytime we want to use it we just flip the switch however my wife and I feel that that switch is a little too small for us to see all the time uh, that it's on so we also bought this multi outlet it has outlets on the side USBs both sides but additionally it has this big night light so you just plug it in and that will always tell us that the inverters on it's very obvious and there you have it all done okay here's the truth test this is Jenny's 1875 watt hair dryer if it'll run this it'll run just about anything go ahead Nice.